Hi everyone, Nefer Chill Tech here, and today I would like to show you a very short video on how you can fix a Nintendo Switch that's stuck in a boot loop. So just for a bit of context, my Switch right here is running a Atmosphere Custom Firmware on an MU MMC partition on my micro SD card. I think it may be running, I think it's the latest version of Atmosphere, so 1.6.2, but probably on firmware version 16. And my Sys NAND was also on firmware version 16, so my official internal NAND storage wasn't that firmware as well. And I decided, well, maybe it's time to update both partitions. So I went in, I booted to the Sys NAND, and I tried to update the firmware the official way through the Nintendo servers. And then it asked me to reboot the Switch to complete the update. And this is what I got. So now whenever I try to boot my Switch to the official firmware, I will get the Nintendo logo. And then that's it. So yeah, we're stuck in some type of boot loop, or at least it won't boot uh, past the Nintendo logo to our lock screen, but I can still boot to the Hackety bootloader interface, and I can still boot to my MU MMC partition. So yeah, that's a bit weird. And in this video, I would like to show you how I can actually fix this issue and boot back to the internal NAND storage. So sorry for the focus issue right here, I'm trying to fix it, there we go. So what you will need is you will need your RCM jig and we need to boot our switch into the recovery mode. So first of all just press and hold the power button for like 10 till 15 seconds to fully power off the Nintendo switch um, because now it's still stuck in the boot loop and we need to power it off, boot it into recovery mode and then we go from there onwards. So I think this should be long enough so you can release the power button and you can insert the jig. So just get your switch to the recovery mode by pressing the volume up as well as the power button for like 5 seconds. And then I will connect my switch to my PC, remove the jig right here, and I'll just very quickly push the Hackety payload to it. So I'll just do it right now. There we go. So I can actually show you that we can still boot to the custom firmware. So we do have the Atmosphere logo right there. We have the Switch logo. Just give it a few seconds to boot to the operating system and we should be greeted by the lock screen. There we go. So what you need to do is if you cannot boot to your official internal NAND partition, just go back to Hackety and now we have to boot to the official firmware through Hackety as a uh, custom firmware partition on our internal end. So you will go, need to go to launch and you need to hit the option custom firmware sysmmc. I've also tried to stop sysmmc, that does not work. You will need to hit custom firmware sysmmc and this should boot our switch to the official firmware but then with Hackety uh, sorry, with Atmosphere installed as well. So just give it a second here to boot us back. And there we go. So now we can unlock our switch. And this is the official uh, internal storage. So I'll enable flight mode just to be safe. And we also have the homebrew menu, but I actually don't want to enter that on this clean partition. And if I go to system, you can now see that I've updated the firmware version 17.0.1. And this is our internal storage because there you can also see the S, which indicates SysMMC. So now what we can do, now we can actually power off the switch. And now we've also fixed the boot loop issue. So just wait for a few seconds for it to power off. Now it should be powered off. And now if we boot or switch, it should no longer get stuck on the boot screen right here. So again, just give this a second to get past the screen. There's an Nintendo Switch logo. Wait for a few more seconds. And then we are back. So now I can disable flight mode. And if I go to system settings, scroll down to system, we've updated our switch to firmware version 17.0.1. And we're no longer stuck in a boot loop. So as you can see, I'm sure, no, there's no other firmware update as of now. So yeah, that's basically it. So if your switch is stuck in a boot loop, then this issue uh, of this issue, this um, tutorial will fix that issue for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. 
and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.